to GMC Creates. My name is Jackie McKissick and today I am making a version of this card. So this is using the Spellbinders Tweet Cardinal. So that one can go in there like that ready to be sent to charity and this I want to be careful because I've got all my little bits in there cut out. So I have. Oops, there's a wing and there's a leg. Right, so I'm using this die that I got off Amazon. It just is a snowflake imprint. Okay. Once again, my card base is eight and a quarter by five and three quarters scores at four and one eighth. Then this red bit will be five by five and five eighths, approximately. And my white bit will then be or no, it's four by five and three eighths. Huh. Start. And this bit will then be three and three quarters by five and three eighths. So the red is four by five and five eighths, and this is three and three quarters by five and three eighths. And there we have our perfect layer. Okay, now this is a Sunshine Creation Wonky Stitch Circle and then this is just another little decorative die that I purchased from Amazon. Okay, so that's going on there like that. And we want to put some foam tape on it. So we do. But I won't stick it down just yet because I want to do my bird. Right, now here we go. Okay, is that everything? So for the die you get the main body, you get a wing and then a shorter piece of wing that goes on there like that. You get a tail that goes there like that. You get the legs, you get an eye and you get the nose and the mouth bit. So, Oops, let's pretend we know what we're doing and start gluing. That rhymed, ha. Huh? So that's going on there like that. Roughly. And then, of course, your nose is going on there. And I have cut it out in orange. Okay, so there's a little bit there that shouldn't be there. So we'll let that dry just for the minute and just make sure we don't lose that eye. I know I cut two or three of them. There's another one, there's another one. That's okay. So what I want to do is just darken a little bit of the wing and the body. So I've got some gathered twigs ink on here. And I am putting it on 
down the bottom of the wing to create shadow. You don't need a lot, just enough to give it a little bit of a darker appearance. That's all we're doing. Okay, right, so I don't need that nose. But I forgot to cut a bit of white for behind the eye and a bit of white for behind this. So let's do that now. Let's see how this works. Okay. There we go. That's going to sit in there, but I need that to go there, like that, to cover all them little holes. And then I would put a dot in there and get this thing put my eye in. Okay? So now we have to glue this onto the white card. And cut it out. Okay. And as you can see, it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So then I'm going to glue that onto the top of the wing. And I need to remember to clean my desk where I've inked before I put my card base down. Because I don't want it to be all muggy. Right, let's have an idea where we put our wing. Just about there somewhere. Okay. Stay you on there. Just about there. Like that. And then I'm going to... You see, I think I put the tail on the wrong way round the last time. I think it should go like that. Well, we'll give it a go. What do I know? You see that time I put the pointy bit out, this time I think I'm putting this bit out and we'll see how it goes. I suppose I could look on the website and find out if I could be bothered. Right, let's lie these legs down and see where we're at because we've got two different ones. Okay. Right, something like that, and then pick it up, and then that is your bird ready to go. Easy peasy. Now we just have to let those dry a little minute because we need to put foam on it. So we'll go ahead and we'll stick down our background piece that we want our bird on. Okay, we need to find some sticky bits to stick it on together. There we go. Easy peasy. Right, and once again I've not bothered to get a sentiment out for this. 
So I shall have to go and hook in my sentiment tin. That's going to sit on there like that. No, it's a bit far down. Oh shit, I can't get it up. Huh. How to do that? Now I just have to try and get it back on again. The right way. Like that. I want it up a bit. Like that. Right, now where's our tin? Oops, it's stuck to our magnetic bowl. So it is. So these are all spellbinders strips dies that I have foiled. So they are. What about that Merry Christmas? Maybe if it had a bit of red behind it, I would like it better. See, I think I would just like a little one up in there if I could find one. You know, holiday cheer, holiday cheer and lots of beer. <laughs> what about that? See, decisions, decisions. Decisions, decisions. Silent night, holy night. Oh, it's calm, oh, it's bright. Christmas hugs or silent night. Have a cosy Christmas. I think I'm just going to go with the silent night. I quite like that in there like that. Okay, now, what way is the cookie crumbling now? I think we need a bit on there. We need we need a bit on to there. Okay, so I've gone ahead and put my sentiment on and then from my snowflake spot I've stuck on at the centre of each of the snowflake imprints I stuck a red star. So that is my card for today. There's a bit of blue string there. There we go. Um, using the Spellbinders Tweet Cardinal. I hope you liked it. Please give me a thumbs up, comment, especially if you're new, and come back for some more. Thank you so much for stopping by. As always, greatly appreciate it. I hope you're all safe and well. And until the next time, Jack out.